hello folks so in this video i am going to cover uh, various uh, operations which can be performed on the matrix for example uh, how to find out uh, we will be finding out the number of rows and columns in a matrix uh, as well as the you know, number of elements inside it and uh, as well as the dimensions of a matrix so let's define a new matrix here so we will call that matrix as mat matrix okay and we will define again as np dot array okay and then we will have elements like one two four three comma four comma six um, let's say seven eight five and then the next one is no let's say nine comma two comma one okay then we need to what we need to do we need to find out the number of rows and columns inside this matrix so kind of a shape we need to find out so find number rows and columns and for that we would do or write a statement like matrix dot shape okay so you can see that there are uh, rows four rows and three columns okay so four rows one row or you know, you'll be able to see the rows like this okay so this is the ideal way to do it so you can see there are four rows and three columns so the shape gives us the count of those now next we need to find out the number of elements inside this particular matrix so the command which we would write is max dot size okay press shift enter and you will see that there are 12 elements so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so 12 elements so which is it is showing perfectly right and the last one is uh, if we want to find out the dimensions of this particular matrix then we can do it by uh, using a command for brevity purpose let's write what exactly that command is doing so find number of elements okay next one is find the dimension of the matrix okay so for that purpose what we will do is oh looks like it was a markdown well, let me do one thing let me cut that right. so what we will do is we will do um, matrix dot and dim which i also shown previously so you will be able to see that there are two dimensions of this matrix okay so all right guys uh, this is it for this video uh, i will cover the next topics in the upcoming videos so thank you keep on watching